I'm in a uh, conference room at work and uh, this here is a Northern Telecom Meridian business phone. Um, Northern Telecom was once one of the largest telephone manufacturers in North America. Every home business and school telephone and payphone in Canada was once supplied by Northern Telecom. Uh, Northern Telecom has since gone out of business. It was quite a dramatic story. They were once the, one of the biggest corporations in Canada. Now they consist of, I think, like 11 employees whose only um, purpose is to fight off legal battles for what's left of the company. But uh, they once made among the best telephones in Canada, or in North America, rather. Um, perhaps the best phones in North America. And they're so good and so robust and so reliable that tons of them are still in service today. Many of these are still in service here at work. These uh, Meridian phones were introduced in the uh, mid or late 1980s. Um, they were in high volume production until the early 2000s and they're still in small volume production today. Now you may wonder if Nortel's out of business, who's making these? Well, Nortel, when they started restructuring trying to save themselves, they passed their telephone manufacturing division to a company called Astra. This happened in 2001. Um, Astra eventually passed the division to Mitel. So now, or actually, no, it was, there were two companies, one called Mitel and one called Avea that make Northern Telecom phones. I've seen some made by Mitel, some made by Avea. I don't know who does what. But anyway, those two companies are still producing Nortel's phones, including the old ones like this one today, in small volume production. This phone you see right here, as old as it is, as you can tell by the way it looks, is still being made today for the sole purpose of replacing non-working phones in businesses that still use these. Although that happens very rarely because these are so robust and reliable. Now, the reason I'm talking about a telephone at all is just because I really love the design of these. You can see here, a nice LCD display, color ID and everything else. Uh, some nice convenient buttons on here a hold button to put it on hold very clearly labeled RLS is release that disconnects the call so you don't have to hang up um, you can just press release to hang up or if you're on hands free just press release to hang up hands free button and a mute button which works either on hands free or the handset you press mute and it mutes the microphone wonderful and very much required feature for conferences so people don't hear you make a noise when they're speaking. That's an indicator light. I think the hands-free microphone's in here, but I'm not sure. Hands-free speakers here, big, loud, clear speaker. I've used these phones here at work already. Well, I've used one once. Now, the most unfortunate thing is, as beautiful and wonderful and historic and prominent as these particular phones are, um, you can't use these on a regular telephone line. This is not an analog phone. This phone actually operates digitally. This phone communicates via data, digital data. Your voice is transmitted digitally, a PCM digital audio signal. So these won't work on an analog phone line. You plug these into an analog phone line, it just displays gibberish on this display and on this display, and it doesn't work. No dial tone, no nothing. These are a digital phone and they require a digital controller to operate. Somewhere in this building is a big Northern Telecom Meridian controller controlling this phone and all the other phones in this building. Sadly, my cubicle um, is not wired up to that controller. My cubicle just has a standard analog phone line, so I can't use one of these, which sucks. I have to use one of the Nortel Vista phones. Still nice phones, but not as cool as these. Oh well, so yeah, you can't use these in your home, which is too bad.
Um, Nortel did make some standard analog phones that are kind of similar to this, but don't have all the functionality that they could have had. And the design's a bit rounder and cuter, not as cool, but they're there nonetheless. So that's the story of these Northern Telecom Meridian phones. I think they're very cool, very historical. My goodness, they've been manufactured for almost 30 years now, still in small volume production by either Mitel or Avea, I'm not sure who. I figured to end this video, I'll make a hands-free call. Um, that's the number to the NIST time server. It plays back audio of WWV, which is a uh, radio station that just 24-7, a uh, computerized voice uh, gives the time, uh, uh, universal coordinated time, UTC. So I'll dial it hands-free. The nine's there because this is a business. I have to get to an outside line. Notice no dial, no DTMF tones because it's all digital. There it is. At the tone, 20 hours, 48 minutes, coordinated universal time. So that's the NIST time server. I turn mute on. You have to turn mute on or else it mutes the speaker audio unless there's enough volume coming through. I can lift up the handset. You might be able to hear that. Uh, let me put it on hands free. Notice these LCD indicators. That's all this display panel is, is triangles. I'll press hands free. And there it is, and I can hang up. And it stays on, as it should. So very nice telephone. It's too bad you can't use these on a standard POPs line. At the tone, 20 hours, 49 minutes, coordinated universal time. And I'll hang up by pressing release. And it is now disconnected. So uh, there's a Northern Telecom Radian phone. There were tons of models of these made. Um, m many of them are common. You can put more than one type on one controller. This one's a model M5316, data manufacturer, 2002. So this is quite a late one. Now that's interesting. This is, this is a 2002 model, but Astra took over Nortel's phone manufacturing in 2001, yet this one bears the Nortel name. Interesting. Maybe the Astra just hadn't retooled yet. I have seen this exact model of phone that bears the Astra name. They made these in black too and they look very nice. So there's a Northern Telecom Meridian phone. A very historical, very nice telephone. Still prominent today but slowly being replaced by IP phones which is too bad. But uh, they are very cool.